So some people think that six-day creation is not compatible with science, but I don't agree with that at all. Six-day creation completely makes sense when you think of fundamental scientific laws. You need an almighty power, you need a God to have put the order that we see in this universe. Can you kind of step that through with me? What, what is he doing on each of those days? So on day one of creation, we see God creating the foundations of the earth, but God also creates two of the most important elements in the whole of the universe, light and water. What I find remarkable about light is the way that it can carry energy. Even here in Tennessee in April, we can feel the warmth of the sun on us, it's rather That's good. nice. But when you think that warmth has traveled mm. millions of miles mm. through space, it's incredible how light can do that. Uh, light also is one of the reasons we live in a very beautiful world because light contains all of the colors of the rainbow. And one of the wonderful things about the world we live in is that it has a very ideal color scheme. When we think about light from that perspective, what you're saying is that the craftsman not only gave us light for function, but he really was concerned also about beauty as well. So that's, that's quite remarkable. What about water? So on day two, God is creating uh, the atmosphere with the clouds above, the waters above, and the seas below. The atmosphere is so important for protecting the earth. And yeah, one of the most amazing things about air is that it can absorb water. It's like a sponge. So water vapor can exist within air because for example, air has just the right density. It's not so dense that we can't run through uh, the air. It doesn't slow us down when we walk and run, but it's dense enough that birds can fly. But also God has put just the right amount of oxygen in the air. It's enough for us to live and breathe. Air is transparent so we can see through it, but air can also transmit sound and transmit smell. As an engineer, I've worked with some of the best engineers in the world in Japan, America and Europe, and I've never met an engineer who could pack so much functionality into a substance like air. It, it's a miracle substance. Mm -hmm.